Factor Gaming again today, and this is episode 8 of X Factor Gaming, where we're taking a look at the SNES Pit Fighter. Now, the question is, is it as bad as people say it is? Let's find out. I have no idea what I'm doing. Gotta figure out the controls here. These graphics, I'm not going to pick on them too much because obviously they haven't aged well and I'm dead already. <coughs> the controls just aren't that responsive, to be honest. And you can't even tell where your life bar is here. Just keep swinging at him and he'll eventually die out. Oh, this is kind of... This isn't really that bad a game, but it's not really that good either. I wish I could have done the, uh, the arcade one for you guys, but I couldn't get it to work. Just keep punching. I'd lose again. Well, <clears throat> let's see if we can do better this time around. Try to figure out how to do things here. Okay, so I'm using the, the bumpers for my controls. And getting my butt handed to me doing that, apparently. Okay, is there a way to turn the difficulty down or something? This is legendarily hard and it's just the first level. And that's the only person you can choose, is Buzz. Now I kinda remember, now I kinda realize where they got that name for WW2K19. Because the company that made this is now owned by the company that does 2K WWE 2K19. How many times do I gotta lose before I figure out how hard this is? And the graphics are alright, it's just really repetitive to be honest. Oh. Uh, and another thing, don't let them get you down because when they get you down... They will not quit. It'll be merciless. So don't even let them attack you, really, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, it looks like I'm playing on the PS Mini. That could be my problem. Square is punch for me, which I'm going to have to look at an original SNES controller to figure out. Or just look at the controls in retro. I'm not going to try to, you know, let's, let's look at the controls real quick. And this is retro arc, like I said. Okay, so square B is your cross button. That should be A, actually. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna put, try to put see if we can put this in super in, super NES terms here. Oops. There we go. It's full screen now for you. Just keep attacking and they, there's no way they can hit you. Just keep punching. 
He'll eventually walk into it. Oh no, now I'm cornered. This isn't good. And do not let yourself get cornered, that's the other thing. I guess the EXEC is their hit meter. That's kind of stupid if you ask me. Why not a regular hit bar like Street Fighter has? Or the good fighting games, or the decent ones anyway. This isn't good, it's not decent. It's meh. And it's basically because of the difficulty. All right, so what do I give this? Uh, controls get a 15 for not being responsive. Um, the sound and graph, sound and music is gonna get a 30. It's a 45. Gameplay is so repetitive. I gotta give it a 20. This is the lowest score I've ever given a game at a 65. Let's continue. And there, is, I don't think I can give an X Factor of the game in good conscience because the score was so low. But if I have to. Graphics. I just remember not being too good at this as a kid either. I'm about to be pummeled. All right, all right, all right. You know what? I can see where the hate for this game comes from. I really can. When there are no continues, one life, and you're controlling a guy that in the picture looks like Mojo Raleigh. But that's that's not really anything to do with the game. It's neither here nor here nor there, really. If I can just figure out some of the grappling moves. You know, yeah, it's th that's it. I can't win this first fight. We're going to try one more time, and if I can't win, it's over. This one, do you think you have formulated a good plan, the computer starts to kick your butt. And why in the world is he jumping? This is a fight as a... This isn't exactly Street Fighter. Nobody's throwing Hadoukens or anything. On top of that, a wrestler shouldn't really be jumping that much. Alright, you know what? Guys, I'm going to say thank you for watching. And again, the score is a 65 out of 100. This is the lowest score I've ever given a game. And I'm trying, I'm being as fair as I can here. It's just not worth anything more because it's not that good of a game. Thanks for, thanks to Eric for, for suggesting this, and I will be back later on with more reviews. Good, good afternoon. Good morning, everybody.